Hi everyone, it's the Cinephile, Kelvin Hoy. Thank you so much for clicking, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. So today we will be watching the Little Women trailer. Now this is the first official trailer for the film. Uh, I believe it might be the only one. Uh, it seems pretty long, it's over two and a half minutes. Uh, and this is, it's a drama, so I can't imagine it having too many trailers. But uh, yes, I'm excited for this film. Uh, I've never read the book, but this film, I believe the cast came together last year in 2018, maybe summer or fall 2018, and they were filming, and I've kept my eye on it, sort of, and yeah, so let's watch the trailer together. Okay. Putting on my earphones. This is Meg, Amy, Beth, and Joe. I'm working on a novel. It is a story of my life and my sister's. Make it short and spicy. And if the main character is a girl, make sure she's married by the end. Ow, Joe! I want to be an artist in Rome and be the best painter in the world. That's what you want too, isn't it, Joe? To be a famous writer? Yes, but it sounds so crass when she says it. My girls have a way of getting into mischief. Well, so do I. This is Meg, Amy, Beth, and Joe. <laughs> I intend to make my own way in the world. No one makes their own way. Least of all a woman. You'll need to marry well. But you are not married, aren't you? Well, that's street. because I'm rich. Would you like to dance? Greta Gerwig? I can't because I scorched my dress. And Meg told me to keep still so no one would see it. I have an idea of how we can manage. Joe is a lost cause. So you are your family's hope now. Seems a little I bit modern. Some power over who we love. It isn't something that just happens to a person. I think the poets might disagree. We can leave right now. I'll sell stories. Joe. And you, you should be an actress and you should have a life on the stage. Just because my dreams are different than yours doesn't mean they're unimportant. I have hey. loved you ever since I've known you, Joe. I couldn't help it. It would be a disaster if we It married, wouldn't be a okay? disaster. We'd be miserable. Joe. We would be a perfect I saint. I can't. A new play written by Miss Joe Marsh. Women, they have minds and they have souls as well as just hearts. I want to be great or nothing. And they've got ambition and they've got talent as well as just beauty. And I'm so sick of people saying that love is just all a woman is fit for. I'm so sick of it. Great cast. So, who does she marry? <laughs> oh, that's great. Who does she marry? Oh, all right. Sorry if I'm speaking really loudly. Those headphones. Okay, um, so, I want to go through this. Pull out my phone. I want to go through this really quickly. So, the four... March Sisters, and I've never read the book, but I've heard of it, and I've, uh, had a fellow, <laughs> I can't even think right now, fellow co-worker who was reading the book. Okay, so the four sisters are Amy March, Meg March, Joe March, and Beth March. So it's Florence Pugh, Emma Watson, Cerise, oh, I'm butchering her name, Cerise Ronan, and Eliza Scanlon, uh, who was on Sharp Objects, and I hated her on <laughs> Sharp Objects, so, uh, because her acting was good, and she played a very unlikable character. But you have Timothy Chalamet, uh, Timothy Chalamet, I tried to say it in a cool way and I messed up, Meryl Streep, Laura Dern, and Bob Odenkirk. Okay, so the cast is great. Uh, just from my first reaction, it looks 
very decent. Um, I believe it's opening Christmas Day or might be December 20th, around there. So it's going to be an awards contender. Um, I don't know what it's going to contend for. Pro probably Best Actress for Ronan. Uh, she's been nominated, I believe, twice before. And she's, I don't think she's hit 30 yet, so she's <laughs> a successful, uh, very critically, critically acclaimed actress. And I think Chalamet has been nominated twice as well. And I don't think he's 30 either. So, yes, uh, looks pretty good. Um, I do like... I was thinking about this before. I was thinking, oh, I have to do a trailer reaction to this film because I'm sort of looking forward to it. And I'm sort of anticipating it. Um, I don't know if it's in my top 10, but we'll see. Uh, I mean, top 10 most anticipated films of 2019. But uh, we'll see what happens. But Florence Pugh, I mean, she's having herself a year. Um, Emma Watson's in this, who I think is a is a better actress than most people believe. Um, and yes, I'm, I'm Chalamet. So I really have to watch uh, Call Me By Your Name. I haven't watched it yet, but I should. Um, looks good to me. Uh, I think it's going to be an awards contender, probably Best Actress for Ronin and possibly Best Picture. Um, we'll see what the reviews are. Uh, I've heard that, and this is directed by uh, Greta Gerwig, sorry. So she directed Lady Bird, uh, I believe that was two years ago, with Ronin and Chalamet was in that as well. I have not seen that either. <laughs> I should. But um, yeah, so it has awards pedigree, Meryl Streep, of course. So actually, probably, I don't know if they'll give Streep another, they probably will, but maybe Dern, uh, Laura Dern is in this as well. They might give her a supporting actress. So those are the awards, some acting categories and best picture, best costume. Now, the trailer itself, I think it's well done. I think especially the second half, you know, when the music kicks in and you have um, a flurry of shots, you know, that's sort of modern trailer making uh, for the past decade or two. Um, so I, I like the trailer. I think it's a little bit modern. Um, this is taking place, Little Women takes place after the Civil War, so the American Civil War, so their accents are amazing by the way, oh my goodness. Uh, Ronan, Watson even is okay, but Pew and um, I don't think we heard Eliza Scanlon speak, or maybe she did speak briefly, but yeah, Ronan and Pew's accents, um, I'm butchering their names, but they're incredible American accents, so good. Oh, these people. <laughs> um, yeah, so it takes place after the American Civil War. So that's the late 1800s, 1870s, I want to say. Um, so, I mean, it, you do have to modernize it a bit with the language and sort of the actions. I mean, he, she punched him in the uh, arm, which, which would have never happened back then. Um, and some of their dancing was pretty modern, too. But... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what people think about it. Um, right now, I'm on the fence on that. I, I don't really like... It works sometimes. I'm sort of a strange hypocrite about that. You know, sometimes it really works, like uh, Peaky Blinders, like when there's modern music for uh, that show it's set in the past. So some people really love that. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, I, I want it to be... If it's set in 1900, it should be set in 1900, right? Like, they should speak like they're in 1900, and even the actions. Um, but we'll see. That might be a minor thing. So, let me know. What do you think about this trailer? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Are you looking forward to it? Um, if you're watching this, <laughs> I'm presuming you're interested in it in uh, some way, one way or another. So, let me know in the comments. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you watching. Until next time, guys. Bye.